In this video, we're going to present basic ideas regarding plugins in Smash Studio. For that purpose, I'm going to do a reinstallation of the software. If you have already installed it, don't worry about that. Just um, wait until we, we reach to the point where plugins are presented. To begin with, then, if, if you don't have installed, you have to get onto the SMAS Studio Forum website and find the download link, find the stable version, scroll down on the next page until you find this MSI file, which we're going to save in our downloads folder. Download shouldn't take too long. You get it in the download folder. I have made a, another download earlier, so it's already available. You just double click on it to install the next, 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 next. And in here is where the installation is going to be. I'm going to show you where the plugins go into that installation. So we'll press next again, install, yes, and the installation takes almost no time and it will launch the software for us. All right. Now we're going to go into the this PC link in here in, in, the, in the file explorer and find the Windows C device and then in there we're going to find the program files x86 folder within which we find SMAS Studio, we put on SMAS Studio and in there we find the folder for plugins and these 10 plugins are the standard plugins that come with SMAS Studio. If we go to SMAS Studio and click on Tools, Plugins, you're going to find those 10 plugins listed in there. All right, but there is an, another variety of plugins available. And actually, it turns out that I have some that don't come with the standard version, which is the XY plugin. So I'm going to show you how here how to delete it. Simply you click on them and click the garbage can uh, icon, press yes, and then you have to wait. I also, that's the only one I think, yeah, it's the only one that's not standard. So I'm going to close down, I'm going to close the software, and I'm going to launch it again. And now we're going to see that the plugin for XY plot is no longer there. But I'm going to demonstrate here the installation of another plugin. These plugins are the standards, as I mentioned. And if you go here to this button and click on local storage and open online gallery, you're going to get a listing of the available plugins in the SMAS Studio file, uh, in the SMAS Studio website, I should say. And then we're going to find one particular one called hyperlink right here in alphabetical order. Is this one called hyperlink region. I'm going to install it. I'm going to close here. Once you install that, then you have an extra item in the insert menu. Is this one called hyperlink. And you can enter a hyperlink in there. For example, you could say double quote Double quote. I'm going to repeat that. Uh, click somewhere in the worksheet. And then we go for tools, plugins. I'm sorry, insert. Insert hyperlink. And there's a dub code. www.fbi.gov. Click somewhere else. Click now on the link. And it takes you to the FBI where, um, website. If we wanted to remove that plugin, we just go Tools, Plugins, there's the hyperlink region, Let's put it in the garbage can, say yes, okay, close the software. And then we we'll relaunch as Mass Studio.
and we can check the plugin and then we see that it's gone and that we no longer have in the insert the hyperlink um, option and so that was the idea just to show you how to use plugins and then we're going to see some specific plugins in upcoming videos